that we've talked about buttons, we'll get into pop-up buttons. These are used to give users a choice to pick an option from a list. So let me find pop-up buttons from the object library. So a pop-up or a pull-down menu from which a user can select an item. So the user clicks on the pop-up button and sees a list of choices. The user picks one. So let me drag out a pop-up button into my view controller. And we'll make it wider. So there are two types of pop-up buttons. A pop-up or pull-down. And we'll get into pop-up. And there are other properties in the Attributes Inspector that you can change for a pop-up button. We're going to change some properties in code. So we'll drag the button, the pop-up button to the code to create an outlet. My assistant editor window is already open, so I can just control drag this pop-up button. And we're going to name it my pop up button and click connect. Let's add items to the pop up button. So I'm going to do that in my view did load. So before we add items to the pop up button, uh, let's clear uh, what's in the pop up button already. I'm going to call the remove all items uh, function or method. And then I'm going to use the add items method. And it takes an array of strings as the items or choices. So let's give it an array of strings. And let's Let's uh, fill the pop-up button with uh, an array of uh, Apple operating systems. So we have Mac OS, and the next choice is iOS, TV OS, and Watch OS. So here is our array of choices for the user to choose from. And this will be added to the pop-up button uh, when the view loads. So let's, let's add some code to show the selected uh, choice for, in the pop-up button in the label. So for my button action for after the user clicks on it. I'm going to add additional code here and we're going to take the pop up button I'm going to get the, the title of selected item And we're going to put that into my label. And right now, it's giving me an error that it's an optional. So again, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to force unwrap it, and we're going to make sure that uh, well, we've already made sure that the pop-up button has choices uh, to choose from. So let's run the code. So here we're going to choose iOS from the pop-up button and hit the button, the push button rather. And now our label displays the choice that the user selected. So let's say I make another choice. 
and hit the push button again. And the label shows a different choice, as well as the text field uh, continues to uh, increment by one 